Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with finally the grand final. Hera versus Nikov. Let's be put the sound here and let's see what we are going to see. Hera on Arabia, Saracens and Nikov with the Mongols. Someone was telling that he was going to use the Saracens on Arena. Well, we see the Saracens here. Saracens on Arabia, guys. Crazy, right? Well, let's see what he's going to do. The map for Hera, one, two, three wood. You know, this wood is not that great and a lot of, a lot of hills. Look at the goal at the back. What map is this? What Arabia is this? Is this the KOTD4? I see the carpet. One, two, three, four. Okay. It seems that the Arabia is the KOTD4. Oh man, I like this cost now. I like it. I like it. Remember guys that it's KOTD map. Nice. Very nice. It's gonna be difficult for sure. And... Oof. I mean, I don't know what I prefer. Like, both civilization got chances. You, you just have to play here great. You know, you really have to play fantastic. Nipkov map is with gold in front, the stone in front, this wood, berries at the back. The berries at the back are also on top of that hill, the wood on the left. Okay, his map is what you can consider a piece of shit. You know? It's trash. It's una mierda, the mapa. You know? Yeah. It's, it's what it is, you know? It, it's really what it is. And nothing else we can say. I mean, it's really bad. Yeah, but Nikov don't have excuses. It's me who say that the map is shit. So then Mem has excuses, you know? Not not Nikov. Nikov say something, I don't see anything. He didn't type. It's me, man. All right. Now he's doing the mill, doing the house. He's gonna start, I mean, his wood here is not too far. So easy to wall this area. Obviously this area is also not great for Hera, but well, he will wall all the map. Let's see what Nikov is going to do. As we have, we have seen, if you really go aggressive, that's gonna help a lot, you know? So let's see what Nikov is going to do. Yeah. Okay. Nikov lost the board. What? Where's the other boar? Ah! Oh! Oh! You're Mongols and you lose 400 food? to the TC. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. Like, like, seriously. I mean, now I'm gonna be honest completely and, and serious. No jokes. I was talking about, yeah, some dirty words about the map. This cannot happen. I mean, I don't know if you agree. This cannot happen over and over to the players, you know, and in a grand final, you know. Grand final, best of seven, and then you lose a... a a rhino 400 food and now we have Nikov going forward Nikov is going forward with obviously not the best economy at, at home he has eight villages on wood one on berries and he has what is he doing with those three villages what's going on Okay, he's doing the barrack now, close to to Hera. Hera cannot see it. We're going to check now Hera's point of view. It's very interesting to see if he's gonna notice his the forward from his opponent. Let's just put the fog of war like this. So Hera scout is going to pass. Uh, he spotted, and he wanted. He wanted to push the Severa now. Well, that looks good to me. Anyway, guys, it's super fast. Now, a tower here. It will be lovely. Just a tower here. You take the wood and the berries. It's fantastic. A tower has to happen there. Amazing tower, and he's 40 seconds. So, that tower is just beautiful. What is he going to do? Now, skirmishes, I believe. Obviously, his economy is at the limit. Imagine if he got 400 foot from that elephant. It's crazy. 
is really crazy. Anyway, this is two spears, but I will do more skirmishes. Yes, resources for Hera are fine, but it's not gonna buy, it's not gonna be fine soon because we will have the tower. We'll have to move those and berries are denied. That's really, really nice. He's gonna try to kill the house. I like it. He's doing the barrack now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hera is doing the barrack now. He forgot. Double it as horse call. What? Resources bug? I don't know. I really don't know. So let's see. Let's see what he's going to see. Yeah, well, one, two, three, four farmers. Look at the barrack here and. Okay, and look at this. Well, let's do now the barrack. Un beso, no? A disimular, pa' que piense que nos queremos. Un beso, Okay, guys, my wife just gave me gave me a kiss, so you think that we we love each other, okay, guys? It's just, you know, it's fake. It's fake, you know? It's really fake. Don't worry, guys. It's fake. Anyway, why you guys put Martha with H? In the middle. It's not like this. It's Marta without H, you know? Anyway, he's doing the RT range now. He has good farmers. Six farmers already. Only two. Obviously, the economy for Hera is much better. Just look at Hera already. One valley ahead. Nick of 30 seconds idle TC. But, mm, oh my god. He's inside with four villages. If he block here, no, 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 no. Oh well, the scout timing is so why he's not blocking. He could have do that. I believe. I mean, those villages are in in a big risk to die. In a really big risk to die. I don't know, man. Okay. Doing the skirms, look at the army numbers. Eight, one army. So, uh, Hera is definitely behind in military. His economy is better for sure. He has double attacks, while you can see Nikov. No double attacks, no horse collar. But Nikov has thought, I need to go extremely aggressive. And this is exactly what he's doing. But is needed to take the lumber camp? Well, maybe. But this is crazy. This is. This is just crazy aggressive. What is Hera going to do? He has no army right now. Took the Lambrican, kill the mill now. Destroy the mill. No? I mean, or just go for the villages. Man, this is crazy aggressive gameplay by by the Argentinian, honestly. What the hell? This is another village. Now Valir down. One Valir down. Stick. This is game. Is Nick of winning like this? Wow. So is finally people going to play forward? Because we want really to see some real aggression, like the old times, you know? Now Nikov is losing, he's killing another village, he should go away with that one. He's going away with that one, and he's saving that one. Okay, he's still only one village ahead. And look why, guys. 50 seconds idle TC. So, being aggressive is crucial, but man, Fletching. Fletching is also there. Yeah. And he's not mining gold. He's not mining a stone. He's just going with the army, with the villains as well. Oh, wow. Fletching is just, is just the key here. It's House of Terra. Oh, wow. House of Terra did another Lambert camp. And the mill is gonna be gone. It's really gonna be gone. And if you don't have the mill, guys, do you think he can make the market? I'm not sure. If you destroy the mill, he might need another mill. I, I, well, we'll see. Look at the palisade here. I like it. Well, he keep going. Nikov has lost one village. He has only three forward right now. He's gonna try to take the mill. Just take it. Just take it. First up game of the day for Hera. And do you think that this uh, Nikov has played 100 games? I think he's the first game from, uh, from Nikov too. Anyway. Skirmishes, Spears. He's doing the tower on top of that hill. 
Okay. Well, he did a tower now, and now it's stable. Well, I like a lot that Hera has a lot of farms. 14 farms, not Horse Collar. Oh man, but Nikov is gonna make, he's gonna mine the stone there. Those three bullets are either wall that tower. Do you have to wall that tower? And now he's mining the stone here at home. Need to make upgrades, does have the upgrades. Well, I'm not sure if this is gonna work for Nikov at the end. He don't, he see the stable, that's really good. Now he's doing a stable forward, wow. But guys, the upgrades are needed. Luchador, 22 moons, thank you so much. Guys, thank you so much for the support, it's really appreciated. Don't forget also that the Prime is, is amazing and is a great, great support. It's fantastic, guys. And I remind this because I never do it and it's free, amigos. And it has to be manually done. It's not automatic like the other subscriptions. Be careful with the wall that tower, man. Anyway, the scout is gonna be gone. He's still without fletching. Obviously, Nikov has the advantage, but Hera is kinda stabilizing here. He's doing a scouts too. And I just hope, I mean, how the players can be so focused that they forget completely about the economy upgrades with double attacks and horse collar. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Obviously, the market will help a lot to the Saracens. And I believe that the market is the next one. And there you go. This is a tower. But this spear is a lot of spears. You have to be careful, man. Yeah. Now he has the skirmishes. But don't lose those. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's still losing villages now. But the scouts are coming, too. And the skirms, let's go. He has a scout, too. And he's trying to make a tower here, but with two villages only, it's not gonna work. Yeah, Nikov is now losing the villages, all the villages forward. Eh, this is not good for Nikov. It's really not good for Nikov. Losing the scout, okay. And he lost three villages already. Village numbers is almost the same. You can see how Hera is now with the same population. But Hera has double with tags, no double with tags for Nikov. He's gonna send more villages? No. And he has so many villages on the queue. Oh, he's sending more. Only seven? Well, seven villages forward is fine. Yeah. He's very nice, actually. Economy thought. Now much better for Hera. And Nikov did or tried to make a, a very aggressive gameplay. But it's starting to fail. Well, forging helps. He's going to make his peers. No, he's doing a scout. And forging. He's going full feudal. But... Mm, the economy for the Canadian is to start to look solid. Really good, I will say. And he is still spamming army. Which is crazy. Alright. It's more scout now. It's bringing another. And it's dominating, man. It's really dominating now. Hera has more army and now more villages. This is crazy. Uh, well, it's the same villages, but he's gonna lose another. He's coming with seven villages. But he has not enough scouts here to kill. And the villages here now... Yeah, he's coming with all them. This is kinda a desperate move here. I mean, few spears will help. He's doing forging now. He see that he's doing forging and 300 stone. He's gonna make the tower or not? Yeah, he, I think it's over right now. Yeah, he has the scouts. He has more scouts. He's gonna send the village now, and he's closer to to all that reinforcement. Nikov is still have well. Let's wait a bit. He's here with the scout. He can kill the villager. Okay. But village number is still similar. He's killing another. Now he's coming with more scouts. The scouts obviously are gonna kill quite a lot, but both are killing. And he's coming with another. He's gonna lose another? Yes, but there's a scout here now. Military numbers four, six, but look at now, village. 41, 46. And guys, Nikov has better score, but I'm not sure that he's really ahead. Well, he's still killing more villages. Yeah, I know the villain gonna be down. Yeah. 8-6 is still ahead now for, for Hera. Now all those scouts can help a lot. Still bloodlines, but only one scout for Hera. And that's why now he's doing a tower. 
because Nico is doing a good job with that army. He has his spears now. Okay, he need to delete that tower and make it another spot. He's doing the game crazy. Still now mining gold and stone. So much stone, but his economy is a mess. He has no horse collar, no double attacks. And if you're losing all this, Nikov is now seven billions behind. He has lost 11, has killed six. Idle TC also more for Nikov, doing Will Barrow. The game is over. He's gonna try to make a tower here, but it's impossible, guys. It's impossible. Here has now bloodlines. He has all his farming working. 21 farmers. It's true that he has a lot of farms too. But he lost a lot of villages, guys. And Hera is about to go up. The Canadian is about to go up. It's, well, in theory, when you are with the resources, usually it's easier to defend than to attack. You have to make a incredible aggressive gameplay and super smooth to kill. Nikov still have similar army, as you can see, but no bloodlines. No bloodlines. There's only three villages. Three villages is doing another tower, but that tower is already weak. And Hera is on the way to Castle Age. And that only means that when he reaches Castle Age, Nikov will resign. Yeah, Nikov economy is kind of unbalanced. Doesn't have a lot of gold, and he has 700 stone. 700 stone. And the scouts are now coming. Bloodlines. Okay. But he's going to his base. And on his base, he's going to make a massacre with the scouts. I know that Nikov is coming back too with the scouts. But scale bar in armor. And also, guys, the Sarnes' market helps a lot. It really helps a lot. It's amazing. Really amazing. But, well, it was a very fun game. I don't think that now... Yeah, do you think, guys, Nikov will resign when he see the Castle Age? He has a couple of towers and he's taking five farmers, but I really believe that Nikov is gonna give up. What do you think, guys? He will, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I see that coming, too. Skillbar in armor is gonna take all the scouts. You have to be careful. And... This is okay battle for Nikov. Not really. He has the same upgrades and skirmishers. And he lost the spear, so... 19 army, 9 army, man. It's 1 billion more for Nico, but he's still in village forever. Why he's not doing towers when he has a lot of stone? I don't know. Doing more stables, but when he reaches Castle Age, he will resign. Crazy stuff. Very nice game for the first one. And Nico, it's calling the GG call. Hera taking the lead. Spect it that he call it. And very nice game. Honestly, eh... Uh, Love to see those games. Those are the games that we want to see, you know. And uh, Hera defended really well. I think he fell a little bit in this push. He was slowed down a little. That heal advantage also for Hera helped him. He was a stubborn. Instead of trying to move around, I mean, the problem with the forward, I'm not an expert, but for my experience, is uh, casting, you need to attack several spots at the same time. If you are all in one spot and with the, this disadvantage, you have to, to be with some sneaky tower here and then you push in this one. He was all in one spot and that was not an oath. And it was, let's say, not easy, but Hera was not panicking, you know, was comfortable in that situation. And look at the economy. Economy, much better for Hera. Much better. Yeah. Guys, game number two. Let's go. Guys, game number two. And it's Lithuanian's Nikov, Berber's Hera. And Berber's has faster villages. And this is what happened with uh, Sokotra, guys. Just got a lame. He's gonna wall now that the berries, probably. Yeah, the, the, the elephant is close. Okay. Yeah, he's taking a ship now. Nah. Well, I don't know what he's doing with this villager, but he so walled out berries that he didn't. Now he's gonna lame all the ostrich. Yeah. 
Yeah, and this is why Socotra, this version of Socotra is kind of very similar all the time. Full lame. And it shouldn't be a very long game, actually. Socotras are not generally long games, you know? So, oh boy. Oh, really, boy. Man, the ostriches are all together. He's blaming his own ostrich. <laughs> I think some of the ostriches probably belong to himself. You know? Hera is now pushing that one. Oh my god, he still didn't see the elephant. That's crazy, actually. And? Okay. Well, let's do the loom and Yeah, that one was great. I mean, there's always exceptions, you know, for 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 those kind of games, you know. I remember that and uh, yeah. And then Yeah, since that is Master of Socotra, I think Hera never joined the Master of Socotra anymore. <laughs> well, there has been only one. Now he's gonna take it. And he's sending two villains, Nikov. But the two villains now is quite late, I will say. So he's sending two villains and Hera will dominate. Berber villains are just faster, man. You kill it. Yeah, the scout need to come. Oh, no loom? Oh, what the hell? He forgot the loom, man. Ay, ay, ay. He forgot the loom. But that's a good solution to the loop, to that. And now another house, perfect. Perfect. He's trying to take this one, I like it. Oh, HP, how many? 12, yeah, Hera has three more. So now with Lithuanians, he's basically no limit at all. Uh, look at the ships here, oh my goodness. It's a terrible economy for both. You know? Yeah. Well, Nico has only one second side of TC, so I don't know. Five villains on berries, three on wood, everything else on the ships, and then two villains there in the middle of nothing, trying to get some food because those two villains for was useless. Hera has defended really well and put those Two houses there to block him and not letting him come. And ladies and gentlemen, Hera is on the way to feudalage. While Nikov is on the way to die. Because Nikov has Lithuanians. But even with Lithuanian resources, what the heck? He's not up. Yeah. And he still have 200 food left. Well, he's not 200. He has 50 food here for that village. He should probably... Don't make more villains, I don't know. Because the timing, the momentum is for the Canadian. And I'm gonna tell you something. If Hera get a 2-0 here, be careful. Because eh, Nikov is gonna see himself 2-0 behind against Hera. And he's gonna be like, oof. This is a really long wall that I have to, to pass, to jump. You know, it's crazy. Anyway, still have no food to go up. I don't TC guys. And now he's up. Okay. He has the food. 22. Four villains more. But 1 minute 30 seconds. And now 5 villains forward. He's going to mine a stone. With 3 villains. Going to go towers. This is going to be very hard for Nikov. Really, really hard for Nikov. Oh boy. He's walling now. He thought he was going to make a, a douche. No man. It's a tower. It's a tower here and all the three farms. Guys, by the way, the farms forward, never, guys. The farms at the back, my goodness. Don't make the farms forward. If you do the farms forward, look what is happening right now. That's a disaster. Still 55 seconds, you know? And now, obviously, let's see what Hera is going to do. He has economy to do more villages, yes, but do them. Need to send more villages to the berries. 
And now he's gonna make another tower here. This tower here can be sick. He has to send now Villies to, to avoid that tower. Yeah, he can't let him make that tower. That why... Let's go to Hera point of view. Oof. Oof. Well, he's trying to take that tower down. But if I was Hera, uh, Nikov, I would do a tower. Okay, he's doing two. Yeah, this is a good move by, by Nikov. I don't think he will have a big problem here. You know, but his house, that's a big problem. Being housed is a big problem. He can't make a spear. He's, he can't make the villager. He can't make anything. Ladies and gentlemen, he's housed. And now he's going back. So he's going to be behind. He has idle time, but Hera has also not the best economy. What the hell? Sending more villages forward? Or not? Oh boy. He's doing the town watch. Uh, Vilis is the same, but there's no army. He has the barrack, but Hera, not even a barrack. Nothing. So, what is Hera trying to do now? He's gonna try to go some annoying towers and then try to go castle age. We'll see. Because what Nikov is doing is coming forward with five villages to make a tower. All right. Yeah, both are with idle time. Uh, the scout for Hera is gone, and that's a problem, because he's kind of blind. Just look. He has no military. But now he's doing another tower in this spot. Is that a good tower? I don't think so. That it is. I mean, he's taking one farm, but that's it. This is a good tower. And Hera cannot see it. The stone? To the damn hell. This goal? To the hell as well. And... No Tone Watch. Where's more stone for Hera? Uh, what? Oh, here. And he can see it. What the hell? That's, that's so lucky, man. Now he will wall like this. He will wall like this. And he will mine this stone. No problem. All good. Palisade. And ba ba boom. Well, now he has to make a counter tower. He's not doing a counter tower is letting that tower happen. He's Sudan. But he's doing. What the hell? Okay. He knows better than me. But I'm surprised that he let that tower come because that tower is taking a lot of farms. You know? And that's not what you want. Oh, man. If he's doing that wall, I'm gonna enjoy a lot. Please, palisade this. I love it, man. When these kind of ha things happen to these players, I just love it, you know? Like, it's wall already, but still, you know? It's nice. It's very nice. All right, good wall. <clears throat> now, what? A tower? Or what? What is Hera doing? Well, Hera is mining a stone here. He didn't wall this tower, but he's repairing. So he's using Trivalis to, you know. And now a tower here. Now he need to repair that house. And this is a good tower. Tone watch. Okay. He's gonna mine a stone. He's defending now, Hera. Let's see. He's repairing this one. Two more villages on stone. He need to make a tower here. Because he's actually the goal. Well, he has another goal here. They are fine. I mean, <clears throat> sorry. The transition to the next age is the key here. I really believe that these towers will never happen. What the hell is that tower? So greedy, man. What the hell? Yeah, well, he's sending all devil is. And that that lady is... is Fook. Yeah. Okay. Well. Five villages on stone. His village now is going back. And... Yeah, he's gonna go with three villages to, to my stone. Yeah, the problem with this tower is that he's taking farms, look at the market, and now not gonna take the goal. How beautiful are these games in Socotra, right? I'm sure that you enjoy as much as I do. A lot. Really, really a lot. Okay, let's see the market. Yeah, still not goal. I mean, Hera is not having any goal. Okay. Is Nikov going to dominate here? What is this? I think he should do a tower here, honestly. Another tower here? 
Uh, well, he's taking the scout. Damn. Well, that tower is not really taking anything. Yeah, but he wants to go to that. To the stone there. Man, Hera is going Castle Age, man. I don't know why, how, but he's going Castle Age. He has no goal. Uh, ouch. But you don't want to let him go in. If he finds this stone, it's terrible, you know. He's really terrible. Yeah, that tower will never happen. Well, he's doing a tower with five buildings, so he's gonna be fine. And guys, he not tried to go castle it, but that he has the buildings? No. He doesn't have the buildings to go up. He has the resources, but he's missing the blastsmith. So we will see. Oh, he's doing here, and he's now taking the goal. Unbelievable! Really unbelievable. He's up, man. He's up to castle it, but Nick of the same with two villains more. What is this? And now he's gonna take this tower. All right. Yes. Well, this is good. He's gonna keep taking those. And now he's doing another tower here to defend. He's being faster, so this is good for Hera. Hera, need to make fletching. Is he gonna make fletching or not? Hmm. Nine villiers. This tower is up faster. I think he should go and take this tower. Yeah, go with those and kill that tower. No? This is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Well, mining gold here in the middle, maybe. I don't know. Well. That he has... Oh, he's taking the gold here. But... That he has Barak, has he a stable? What is he planning to do? I really don't know, honestly. I don't know what he's planning to do. Two farmers for Nico, by the way. His economy is insanely good, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, well, what is his plan? Because he's gonna be in Castles and then what? Ah, the Barak is here. The Obama, all right. Now with fletching problems, unable to really mine the goal, but he's not expecting that he's up, probably. And now a stable will happen. Where? Where is the stable? Very close to his base. Both Castleage doing now the stable with two villages. He's doing it with four. He's doing a skill bar in armor. And now a monastery. I can't believe. If Hera win this game, I mean, I don't know, but he has better resources. His opponent has just gold miners. And knights are coming. He's gonna wall the TC. This is crazy. Literally crazy. All right. Okay. He's walling the tall center, guys. If he's sending knights in, he kill all. And he should do that. Let me go to his point of view. He just need to send the knights in, man. I don't know, man, but still. Yeah, he's gonna send it. Two more knights. Knights as well and monks by 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 Nikov. The score very close. Yes. But here, the timing, the momentum. Okay. Monk is there mining gold. Another stable. Cheaper knights, remember. Cheaper knights. No, no, no. Need to go back. If he converted, it's a disaster. But he didn't. He will have the monks too. And he's gonna get the relic. That's goal for a long time. You know, he should take this tower. I don't know if he's gonna be able. Yeah, those towers are so annoying. But, I don't know, he's killing villains now. Oh, he's also killing villains too. No, he didn't. He's taking the gold miners. And Nikov is killing, man. He's killing, he's taking the house here. I think he's winning Nikov. Well, let's see. Well, he has double stable. He has no village on gold, guys. Now Fletching will borrow. It's so difficult. He's gonna take the relic. Ah, the relic, man. Aye, aye, aye. Well, I think he could have taken the relic. I don't know what you think. He will have taken the relic 100%. 100%. 
A hundred percent. That monk. <laughs> yeah, well, it's what it is. The key, the, the key here is that he has 28 villages on gold. I mean, Nikov has a bad economy. Six farmers, like... Nah, he's just sending knights in. Yeah, this is what he need to do. Just kill there. I mean, look at the walls. Yeah. But this is all his economy. This is all his economy. That's crazy. Really crazy. He's doing more and more knights. Okay. Well, if he's able to make a castle here, he take all the towers. I don't know if he has a stone left to, to, to take. No, man. There's no more stone. That's the problem. That's the real problem. And failure on goal. Oh. <laughs> he has one relic. Two relics for Nick of the Knights are now too strong. Plus two attack. That's a problem. That's a real problem. He's doing Botkin. Botkin? Is, is, is worthy Botkin for what he has? Maybe to avoid the raiding. I don't know. He's selling the wood. Doing more stables here. But he's coming with spears, the knights, monks. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Horse collar, Bozo. I mean, Nick of Soul win this game. He has eight villages more. Army is similar, but I don't know, man. Let's see. He's going to take the tower? Yeah, he cannot. This is game, guys. This will be game. It looks like Nick of has become a clown, you know? A clown player, right? So it is what it is. It's a clown, amigos. Bloodlines. Light caps, look at the monastery, okay. Well, he's doing the job, man. Siege War Shop, Town Center. Well, here is a try hard, as we all know. But this is over. I mean, he doesn't have the map, doesn't have any advantage with military. He barely can take goal, only one. He's trying to do light caps just to, to snipe those monks, but so difficult man well the knights are there try to break maybe oh he hope if oh he's opening man what the hell if he opened you kill all the villains man he was open and he could kill all the villains man wow well he didn't notice but if he was there paying attention he will kill all all will have killed it but yeah he was just not paying attention to that and now what He's coming with all the knights. If he kill the monks, <sighs> Oof. oh my god, what is this? I don't understand that. The tryhard is real, but his economy is really low. He only have the goal all the game. Okay, he keep trying, man. It's crazy how here I just keep trying. He's gonna take the tower. Armies, few spears. Five spears, six knights, and nine monks. Well, well, six knights, six light caps. But he has 60 villages. He has better economy. 100 wood. I don't know. I don't know why he doesn't have more farms, man. Just make a lot of more farms. What the hell? Well, the light guys are there. The light guys got only plus one and bloodlines. And as you can see, they are in the same team, AM. But in this situation, I really believe that Nika will have resigned a long time ago. Hera will never resign. He's gonna keep trying forever, you know? And he knows that if there is some bad move by Nika, Hera is gonna punish, you know? He's gonna punish for sure. The Canadian, he has three monks there to convert. You know? And look at the resources. Yeah, Nikov is, is feeling the pressure. Siege war shot. He has now seven on goal. So he has goal. He's going to 1TC only. I mean, he's going to come back, man. Hera is going to come back. It's really going to come back. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But he can come back. Remember, he's now selling resources. But he shouldn't need to sell he has 1000 wood he had not anymore no villains on goal what well, he has the tc here no 
but he has a lot of monks but so many monks when your opponent has crazy amount of light caps he's gonna go in and oh my god he can raid a lot now if he's going in go in you can kill all he's coming with all the monks with all the light caps, sorry, you have to be careful here. Look at the light caps. Whoa. Well, the light caps are coming. Look at the monks, the monks, the monks, the monks are going to disappear. And now, those light caps are going to kill or not? Well, he's killing all the monks. Look at the military numbers. Look at the score. And the Canadian is killing a lot. Now the knights are coming. And if he's killing all this, Nikov might call the GG or not. Well, oh boy. No, no, no. Nikov is called in those knights. God, also, the relics is so difficult, man. But he take all the monks. All the monks are now in the hell. So, Hera is gonna keep trying forever. And why not? Nikov economy is a disaster. He has more villages than him. Yes. But it's idle a lot. Idle a lot. Now, coming some light caps. Okay, need to go. Light caps, knights. Mangonel, if he take this, then he's gonna raid completely three TCs, but he has more army, man. No, no, no. You need to send the light caps, amigo. You need to go around. He has to control everything. I mean, the advantage will be very big for Nico, but woof, you never know. You never know. 14 knights, guys. Nah, it's not big advantage. 14 knights, if Hera is able to make plus two, He's gonna destroy everything, man. He's walling all, okay. But the plus two knights, poof. He's gonna take the relic? I don't know, man. I don't know, you don't want to lose those monks. You definitely don't want them to lose it. There's two mangonels. This map is the map that you can really dominate with, with one TC, maybe. <clears throat> Having a lot of army, why not? Yeah, he's taking all the towers now. Chain Barden armor is, is huge. He can mine stone. He can mine gold. And now, the amount of army he has is scary. I'm telling you. Let's see the two mangonels. Super intense. These games are really fun. Now it's very fun. 90 is 16 army. Here I need to send more, uh, more army. But now he's doing quite a lot of pikes. That's the problem. He has nine pikes. He's taking the relics. Okay. And two Magonels. He's gonna raid. He can't. The pikes are there. He's mining a lot of stone. He mine if he's able to make a castle in this area. <laughs> Take it a monk. Yeah. Well. Look at the resources for Nick of 2,000 wood, guys. 2,000 wood. So he's not really micro. He doesn't have the micro on point right now. You can see how here has... Three villages on wood. 20 on foot, 27 on gold. My goodness. He convert a pike. He's doing more knights. And I insist, the plus two in the knights is, is just so important. There's only one relic. No, Nick about three relics. He has two at the back, which is great. But, well, he's not committing. He's not a lot of army for Hera anymore. I mean, he has 34, he has a lot, yes. But his opponent is doing more and more. I think Hera need to attack at some point. Doing more stable? Yeah, well. Chain Bard in armor or not? Yeah, and also no horse collar, no bow, so. Where's the plus two? Look at the resources. Plus two? He's doing a castle, man. He's doing even a castle. What the hell? Well, he's not doing the plus two. Now he's doing a castle here. The mangon is why he's not using I don't know either. But he can kill a lot here. He's so many knights. You know, when the knights has come, everything has been gone. And now he's gonna kill those. He's trying to kill, oh my god. Well, he's killing so many villages, man. He's gonna take the mangonel. The castle is up. If he got, if he got attacked before, Hera army, 32 military. Is killing a lot. The castle is obviously there. And, uh, well, I think if he attacked before, he could have got this. But now it's, it's kind of impossible. He's walling all. He's going to go in. And he can raid a lot. Look at him. <laughs> it's an architecture, man. Yeah, well, 
Chain bar in armor now. The knights are kind of trap. He's trying to... It's open. It's open. Oh my goodness. Well, we'll kill a lot of villains, man. And he keep trying, man. 15 army, 33. He's gonna lose a lot of villains now. He's killing more. Yeah, he's killing a lot. He's killing a lot still. And now, go with the Mangonas, man. The castle is there. He's on the way to Imperial. But he's still without army. Do you think Hera is a tryhard? He definitely is, man. Because, but he see the score and he feel like, I can do it, right? But he is 40 villains behind. And Nikov is going for monks, for monasteries. Really? Is the monks needed? Just go bikes, man. Anyway. 27 villains kill. He is still killing, doing damage. And send the Mygonas, man. You can kill town centers. All right. Well, market. He has squires and... Uh, I mean, it's crazy that they are still on 44 minutes in this game. <laughs> Here is up to Imperial. He's on the way to Imperial. <laughs> okay. He's up to Imperial, guys. He's gonna go Cavaliers. He's, he's not gonna call the GG. He himself is on the way to Imperial. So he's not gonna call the GG. He has 20 knights, he can do cavalries, he has a stone to make a castle. No! He missed 14 stone! Disaster, man! 14 stone! Unbelievable! Ay ay ay! Ay ay ay! Okay! Well, he has a lot more army. He's trying to get inside. Those knights are plus two. Look at the walls. Walls, 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 no beep. Look at the castle here. Well, he's doing the castle in a good area. Absolutely. And I'm telling you something. With the light caps and potential cavaliers, the monks might not be an oath. Like, seriously. Why monks? Just pikes, maybe. Light caps going to go and kill more monks. Yeah, he's in Imperial. But... All the monks by by now might kill all before the upgrades. No, just go away. The castle is there now. He can take the gold. Yeah, and he's killing villages, man. He's with Botkin, so he's taking TC. He's killing the village. Man, if Hera come back in this one, I stop streaming, man. I don't know, man. Salah, I stop streaming if Hera come back. <laughs> Awful castle. It's a good castle. Where to do it? You are taking to see the monastery, another goal almost. The problem is that you know that he's up to imp, but he doesn't know that Nico is up to imp, you know? Okay. If Hera come back, I shouldn't retire from AOE. No games for you. Maybe Nikov should retire, not me. What the fuck? Okay. And now, what? Well, he has Halberdiers. He's doing Abris or not? Oh my god. If he killed the halves, he's going to repair the castle. Well, cavalier upgrade. But he has halberdiers. The halberdiers with what upgrades? None. Okay, he's going to repair? Not really. Where's the oof? Yeah, the, the, the economy for Hera is really bad. It is really bad. But he's gonna have cavaliers. Yeah, I mean, the problem is that Nikov has all the map. Hera has no map at all. Chemistry, look at the knights. Well, it's a lot more villages, but cavaliers are coming. He's gonna try to kill the, the traps. He's the only choice, man. He has to kill it. He's walling? No, he's not walling. Those are going to be there. The knight's gonna take the traps. I like it, man. I'm gonna take the other one. He's gonna kill the other trap. He has to. Yeah, this is really good. He's really good. Taking the trap which is really, 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 really good. Cavaliers! Oh my god, look at the score! I mean, seriously. If he's taking this castle down, he's winning the game. If he killed the castle from Nikov, he's gonna win the game. Unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable, man. Seriously. Seriously unbelievable. If he's losing that one, go kill the villiers. Go kill the damn villiers. If he's killing that castle, the game is probably for Hera. Honestly. This is insane. Now Zero Will is on goal for Nikov. Zero on a stone for Nikov as well. Stop losing the, man the, the Mangonels for nothing. The castle is gonna be down. It's crazy. Without the castle, don't lose the Cavaliers. Don't lose the Cavaliers. Now 
guys, after this gameplay, if Hera just get this, uh, I mean, seriously, I don't know, man. He's gonna take that one, but those halberds are so strong. Whoa! I, I, I. Well, the halves are going to die. Because the castle is here, he's going to convert. You have to be careful. Hera is just selling his soul to get some resources. He has no economy, man. It's impossible. Come on. He did a great job, but it's impossible. Well played, Hera. And Nico is winning the game because Hera got no map, no economy, no villages, not nothing. 77 population, 147. He tried hard. He made me go crazy with the crazy casting. But, oh, baby. Elite skirmishes. He will never resign. My goodness. <laughs> Incredible. But can Nikov do something else than halves? Aye, aye, aye. Well, the castle is gonna be down. He has bomber cannons. He can't now. He can't now. Come on. I mean, next game. I like it, the game a lot. But, well, I mean, balance economy for Hera. Zero wood, zero food, zero gold. You know? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Unbelievable. All right. University now, but he has no resources. Plus three. The castle is down. Yeah. Well. 83 population, 167 light cap. Finally, man. Finally, light caps. Just go with the bomber cannons with the halves. It's impossible now. Yeah, Nikov got it. He's 1-1, one, one, guys. But, man, this might be so exhausted for Nikov. GG call. Amazing game. Sick. You know, sick, sick, really, really nice. It's crazy how this guy fight forever. And, and there was a moment that he was looking that he could come back, but he just didn't have any economy during all the game. Just check military, you know, uh, military, had a kill more. Yeah. Conversions, 13 conversions with millions of monks. That's basically nothing. Economy. <laughs> 11,000 more resources. That's the thing. Food the same, which is crazy. Hera even more food than Nico. But the gold, the wood, everything. The momentum, Nico, 122. And the series, 1-1. One, one. Let's go. Okay, guys, we have seen this map several times. And now we have Hera, Khmer, Nico, Byzantines. Okay, okay. This civilization's matchup is very interesting. Depend how you play it. He's gonna go Nikov again forward. Because maybe he's gonna do it. But for now, what I'm going to do with this beautiful map is to show you the civilizations, you know. And is Khmer and Byzantines. There you go. Those are the civilizations. Okay? Yeah, this is the Red Bull Wall of Law 3 final map. Absolutely. That's that's the map. You are right. You are completely right, amigos. And we have Hera Khmer, Nikov with Byzantines. Okay. I'm thinking what what are they going to do? But Byzantines can be very strong. He's going for village on wood. I mean, if he's going men at arms and going forward, you know, but you saw how Hera defended the previous one, so can be solid. We'll see. We'll see, guys. I'm, I'm going to enjoy a lot watching. If they play Arena also, it's going to be very nice to see Arena to Hera and Nikov. When we see her, uh, them playing arena, you know, I don't think that we do this. Uh, we see them too often. Yeah, let's see. It's doing the mill now. They are getting closer and closer to go up. They might go up really quick. He's pushing the deers. Yeah, he has already one. He's gonna push uh, push the second. 
And the Khmer guys with that fan bonus, pff, pretty sick. But he's doing the Obama, guys. The Obama is coming already. Minute 4 and 50 seconds. Yeah, man. Well, welcome, guys, everyone. Hopefully you enjoy with the channel. We are enjoying a lot. Really, really a lot. And hopefully it's going to be great. Nikov with Byzantines. Hera with Khmer. And, uh, well... The trans units are so so cheap for for Byzantines, right? So that's why going full push, full aggressive can be very solid with this one. Going with the militias is nice, but if Hera notice, then Hera is gonna be up much faster. Nikov is gonna be a little bit delayed, you know, and that's gonna be a problem probably. Yeah, we'll see. New follower, man. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Nikov map is better. Well, let's analyze. Birds at the back, a stone here. Well, he's walling this area. The goal is safer here. The goal for Hera is terrible. This one is safer, but it's still exposed. This goal is awful, man. But the wood on the birds is fine. Yeah. But the stone is exposed too. Definitely Nikov map is better. Agreed. Agreed on that regard. Now he's up, and he's gonna notice. Let's see his reaction. No reaction by Hera. Now he's a wall. Oh, that was perfect. Yeah, Nikov lost the opportunity to do damage there. He definitely lost the opportunity, and now he's doing a house. But this, is there two more villages? With the house, he will be garrison the village, the, the village. So he need to move to another spot. And maybe now another house here. You know? Maybe here. Well, oh, baby. Very nice. The palisade gate. The gate. The, the gate, man. What the hell was that fail? That's a fail, man. That's a real fail. Okay, he walled this quick, but he could have trapped those, those easily. He almost did it, but he couldn't. Anyway, he's safe. Completely. This village is idle for a long time. Not anymore. And at home? Well, now... Hera will have the time in here. And I think he should do a stable. He's gonna go for a stable? Yes, yeah, scouts and attack your opponent. Because he's gonna be slower up. So he won't have... Yeah... Yeah, double Taz and horse collar is the way to go. He's doing, and Khmer is very dangerous in these kind of situations. Now, he's just exploring everything. He's walled this area. Okay. So maybe go forward with a village here in the tower. I don't know. Hera is not that kind of a player, but yeah, well, scouts. He loves to go with his echo, and his economy is going to start. To keep going here, another farm. As soon as he gets 60 wood, he's gonna expand it. You know? Farm, farm, farms. Let's go. Okay. Has to be careful there. And? It's wall, even his TC. But the goal is, exp is out. So that's not great. That's not great. Good farming already. A lot of farms already. It's now up. Okay. Thank you so much for the follow. He's doing now the upgrades. Yes. But now what? Just spears, right? Not even an archery range or anything? Really? So what would you do if you were now Hera? Full feudal? Or try to go castlets? Honestly, if he's doing now archery ranges as well, it would be lovely. I believe. But... Yeah, Nikov is just doing echo, man. It's really no army. The hell? The hell, the damn hell. Well, two militias and one scout. Just send all the scout that you can claim. It's kind of my goal. And it feels that Nikov is just gonna go economy. No army? It seems so. Well, he's mining gold. He's fully wall. But if he's doing that, I really believe that Hera is gonna be much faster to Castle Age. I don't know what you think. What is this, man? That's a bad move. Coming with the scout. And then, after killing this, you're going to be able to really 
explore properly. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna kill the Emilicians, but he shouldn't take that much damage in those scouts, honestly. Yeah, got it. He got it. Need to explore. Mining gold in this area. Yeah, I mean, he only need the gold to go up. This food is already done. I mean, the food is gonna be in 800 in a moment. Really, really in a moment. Now he's doing the RT range. And well, I don't know. Now let's see, Hera is gonna try to explore. What? He took so much damage. Took one scout and two are really low HP. My goodness. My goodness. Okay. okay. Let's see the scouts. Yeah, it's double HG range. Look at the resources, guys. It's amazing. Sorry, guys, I was reading something. I got a message from my brother, and I was reading. Now focus and castleage, man. 15 minutes in castleage. Well, um, how the hell are you going to be able to stop this with double HG range? He has two arches, three spears. He's going to have a few arches here, too. Gold mining upgrade. It's just uh, very difficult, guys. Very, very difficult. He's, blo he's blocking this, okay. But he's eat everything. He's having good resources. He's gonna go up soon. But the timing here, the momentum is very important. He's gonna save the lead on the on the house. Save it, man. What? Well, those archers has no fletching, but. Now they will have fletching and it's gonna be completely fine. Yes, well, castle is as well, but in a map like this, over a one minute advantage, it's gonna be really important. He's doing the armor even, you know? Who is this? A new prime? Vamos! Let's go, baby. Really appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it. Awesome. Really awesome. Okay, how many farms? 15 farmers. 13, but well, it's Khmer Farm, so he's better. He's just staying at home. He's not taking any risk. Just doing more arches. Okay. And now his wall. Fletching here. Okay, well, he has the army, man. He has the good army. University here and Crossbow, Bozo, okay. Hello, Linto. Thank you so much, man. He's gonna take this one. I think he's not going around. Triple RG range and now doing skirmishes. Well, if you do that, he's gonna make a few knights. Yeah, he's gonna take the spears. Ballistic already, that's huge. That's really, really huge. But you can see, guys, how sadly they don't play feudal. Well, they did a lot of feudal in the, in the first and second game, right? So, well, well, well. Vamos, amigos! No, this is very good, man. This is really, really good. You know, the... Ballistic, Tone Watch. I think Krodos is a good choice, honestly. It's a really good choice. Now, obviously, I mean, look at look at the Tone Patrol. You cannot surprise with Byzantines, man. This is insane. This is the thing here, man. Like, seriously. It, it's just pretty sick. How you are going to surprise? 
It's impossible, you know. It's really impossible. But he has more army and ballistic is helping a lot. Okay. Military numbers similar, doing a second tone center. Great economy. Is now gonna kill few villages or not? No, he didn't. But he has all the initiative. Scale bar the number five skirmishers. The army he has is really, really low. Really, really poor right now. I really believe that this is a huge advantage for him, you know. Okay. Escape Arden Armor, okay. Oh, he was without Botkin all the time? Interesting. Doing a 30 C. Man, the advantage is just really big. I mean, if you see the same population almost, it's three TCs. He has Ballistic already. Botkin. Ballistic on the way too for, for Nico, but he has no monks. He has only one tone center. And that's, I mean, if he sends you a couple of knights, the skirmishes are going to be gone. Yeah, the knight is coming. And this is open. This is open. He can go in here and kill everything. My goodness. What? The knight? Oh, he's taking some. The crowbars will just go away. Okay. And now, Vili is down. Two, three, four. That's pretty sick. Yeah, you can spam skirmishes, but Hera is playing fantastic here. He's now trying to, to dodge with the knights here. Need to be careful. He's gonna send more knights. Yeah, well, he has another two coming. He's on top of that hill. And... Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. You have to be careful here. Is the knight going to be there or not? Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. He's gonna be able or not? Yeah, well, he's trying. He's really trying. Okay. Eh? I'm making a poco. Ya está a punto de llegar. No sé por qué. Vale. Look at the knights and the crossbows. 57 villages, 13. Yeah, it's, it's a huge advantage. It's a really, really huge advantage. Yeah, he just need to keep doing army. But... Uh, one of the things that Hera has is that his macro, when he's controlling the units, is just so good, you know? You can see, and, and Nikov is one of those that has a very good macro, macro too, but he's 16 villages ahead. 16 villages ahead, guys. Like, seriously, it's, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. That's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going and see. Well, lawyer, delaying. Ah, the entire best of seven? Okay, but not this game. This game looks better for Hera, you know? It really looks better for Hera. He has three TCs now going, but let's see. He doesn't need to take any risk, to be honest. And he's going forward finally. Nice. He's going with the siege. The siege is what he needs to finish, you know? Because he has good army. Just make the siege workshop here. Well, he could do in top of that hill. I think that's a little bit... Eh, a little bit sloppy. Yeah, why not forward on the siege on the on the on the hill? Well, okay. Plan line husbandry will borrow and. No, has to be careful there. Okay. Oh, he's gonna make a castle. But man, he has nine farmers, man. Nine farmers, while his opponent has 29. Oh, wow. Well, you, you protect this area, but Hera just need to go around. The problem is that they, they don't really take a risk. They don't go around. They don't attack.
Even Hera that has a huge army now, and his opponent has all these skirmishes, is is knight plus two. I mean, it's a castle there that he could, he could have delayed, denied. Ah, but the economy is just 20 villages more. Okay. 14, why he's not sending knights around? I don't understand. They are just not really taking any risk. It's, well, they just boom, make some army, and now we'll wait for Imperial. I mean, the economy advantage is just so big. It's eight, it's seven farmers. He has a terrible economy, Nikov. Yeah, he does have economy to even go up to Imperial. Well, Hera is just gonna go up to Imp, and when he reaches Imperial, uh, Nikov might call it. Yeah, that's... That's the problem. At the end, it's a little bit boring game. Because, do you feel how, just with the boom, he's doing army, he control completely the situation. And Nikov can't really do anything. He can attack. Just look. Well, he's trying to go around. That's the, the good thing he can do. Try to go around. Yeah, but it's not possible. Look at the resources. Ah, the mangonel. No. Has the hill. And with the knights, just kill all. Oof. Almost with the Magonel. Well. Oh my god. Almost losing a lot of army here. And why the hell he's not clicking up to him? Look at their resources by Hera. Hera, are you sleeping? He definitely is sleeping, man. He's on the way to Imperial now. Yeah. It's up to Imperial. Population is similar because Nikov has a lot of army. And what is Nikov going to do now? And all the castle forward. All right. Yeah, he's gonna make a castle here. It's the only chance he has. Try to do something crazy like this. If not, really nothing to do. Yeah, well, it's mining a lot of on stone. He's going around. He's bringing villains or not? To drop a castle forward. It's kind of risky, but, uh, well... We'll see what he's planning to do. Now he forced him to move a lot. Yeah, to the stone. There is a lot of resources in this map. A lot. And again. Oh! 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 I was expecting a castle here just to try to push because you got a lot of army. And the castle he's doing is just to don't get raided. He wants to go for the really super late game, it seems. But the population advantage is insane. Obviously, Hera will do a castle soon. He has the stone almost there, but he will do Arvalus. He'll do and at the end, guys, has been a boom game with zero attack. Well, trying to make some attack. Now he's killing a villager, but it's a boom game, man. No really big engagement at all. I don't know if you agree. There's some knights, and Hera is in Imperial already. Okay. Chemistry. Plus three. A castle where? He has the stone. Where is he gonna make the castle? At home or where? Well, I don't know. He's killing few villages. The economy difference is just massive. So huge. The good thing is that Byzantines are very cheap. So maybe can do something, Nikov. Who knows? And then maybe this castle is good to avoid raidings. Yeah, well, I know the mill here, but the mill is together, man. Okay. And where is the castle? Also defensive, but this makes more sense because his opponent is trying to come. The Magonel. And now... Let's see. Well, Hera will do Hazars. It's what he want. I believe. I don't know. Anyway. Blade Bard in armor. With those knights behind it. With the, yeah, and doing another TC. The difference is 20 villages. And the economy difference is really big. He got four scorpions. And now, Trebuchet are coming or not? Well, no resources. So, no traps at all. Yeah, he's coming with those. There's no Arbalest. Now Arbalest upgrade. And traps? No. No trebuchets. Trying to see. 120 villains. His population is insane. Now the knights are here with the plus four. He's really going to go camels? It seems so. 
Camels are coming. But when the traps are cut, where's the traps, man? Do you need traps, man? Ay, ay, ay. No trebuchet. It is. It's not attacking, man. These players are booming all the game. I know the TC. TC number five for Hera. What the hell? Well, full boom game, guys. The economy is really big, but it's still now the first trebuchet. The knights are plus four. And I really believe that the Hazards is going to be the next one. It's going to be the TC up. Well, it's going to be. That was a good horse, right? Yes, man. And amazing with the noises. <laughs> All right. Let's see now with the Arbol. Is he going to go with the traps? He's going. And uh, yeah, he has the heal. He has all the timing. He has the momentum. And uh, I don't know. Let's see. Hopefully, Nikov is not going to quit when there is not a single engagement yet. Okay. Burns! Thank you for the 14 moons! Be careful with those. Vamilops. DC number six, man. What the hell? What he wanted to, 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 to do? Tone center number six? What the hell? Well, the Legates are coming with the plus four. Now he's gonna raid finally. Hera has killed 14 villains. He's gonna kill more. It's plus four, but no Hazards yet. And. The arches are here, but the arbalists are coming from behind. He's taking few villains, but now with those, he's gonna kill them all. He has all the arbalists. Well, he's gonna have arbalists too. So, no thumbprint though, and plus four, and now raiding a lot. But population for Nikov is still strong. I mean, Nikov is definitely a very, very strong player, man. Really, really sick player. But I really believe that in this game, Nikov stayed because Hera has played very, very defensive. Like he got a huge advantage, but he never took any risk. And well, if you don't take any risk, you also don't lose games. And this is exactly what he's doing. Yeah, he's just pushing now. And uh, look at the score difference. He has the camels, but those camels plus one. No heavy camels, no nothing. So, I don't know, man. I really don't know. A light caps, scorpions, and now what? Now what? Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Well, those are camels. And you have to be careful here. Blast ends, skirmishes, and... Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. Let's see those. At least skirmishes, camels. Sixty-two army, forty-seven. It's still good population, but those camels are really weak. Hazards, obviously. Hera with the arbalest and skirmishes. The hazards are going to come, and heavy camels are there. Okay. Yeah, but those camels are heavy camels with plus one, guys. Look how look how badly they die. This is crazy. Well, it's over, guys. Look at the score, 2,000 score difference when the Hazards are there. He's gonna kill all the skirmishes as well. The, the camels are just so bad without the upgrades. My goodness. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Well... For me, it's really crazy. I don't know if you agree, guys, that this game is still not over in 44 minutes. Because Hera has got to GG call a huge advantage constantly, you know. A really huge advantage, but he never take the risk, you know, and that's bad. Well, not against in this game, but mm, for other matchups can be a problem, man. If you play like this because someone else is coming more aggressive and then he can punish you. He can really punish you. Yeah, well, Nikov didn't have a really great economy in the whole game, you know, military. You saw more kills, 70 army, 63. But look at the economy difference, guys. For me, it was not super exciting game because Hera was huge ahead. But he didn't take the game, which was a surprise for me. Just look at the economy, guys. 14,000 resources more. 
and almost no rating, you know? Yeah, it was just a slow game, very, very slow game. Game number four, guys. Oh, let's go, and now... Okay, game number, game number four is going to be... And game number four is going to be in Sacred Spring that we have seen how it's a very, very aggressive game. Well, it should be an aggressive map, but they are playing so defensive today. 2-1, Hera versus Nikov. Hopefully they are not going to be too long, because I don't want to leave the, 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 the finals in the middle. I say that I'm not going to leave the finals. I don't leave? Okay, you let me stay? You stay. Okay, okay, okay. He let me stay, guys. He let me stay. Anyway, we have Hans and Tatars. And uh, what do you prefer here, guys? Hans or Tatars? Let me just see the scout. I think I always prefer Hans. And then I'm going to show you, guys, the civilizations. Now he's watching how I put the civilizations. Because you never saw this, right, Mr. Kuban? And then Tatars is here. And then I saw the overlay. And it's a PA in OBS. You can see it in the, in the other monitor. You see? And there's, those are the beautiful civilizations, as you can see. Okay. Nika with the hands, Tatars, Hera as a blue. And, uh, well, the goal is at the back. Remember that you have to take all the short fish here. Then the boards are also in both areas. He took already. You can see. And there's another one here that he's going to take it. Okay. He has only two villages on wood. And uh, let's see how aggressive he's going to play. Hera has to play probably with men at arms, I don't know. Because Hans, he's gonna be better, man. Oh, he lost a village? No, Nikov lost a village, what the hell? Nikov lost a village, I don't know where, but he lost a village already, oh my god, disaster. Starting bad, guys. I don't know if you if you got the feeling, uh, except that the game is chaotic. It's really terrible and chaotic like the previous game, like the Socotra. I really feel that in a standard meta, Hera's in another level. I don't know if you were watching before, Mr. Kuban, but Hera just, just win Nikov, man, in a start of the gameplay. So Nikov has to, to make something different. He'd really have to, to do something different. Yeah, Nikov lost the ability, yeah, I know. Well, let's see. He's here with the scout, he's gonna take out this one. Okay. Who Kuban think will win the series? Well, who you think, Mr. Kuban, is going to win the series? I'm going with Hera. I think uh, Hera is favorite, you know? I mean, this game is so important, Kuban, because if if there is a 2-2, two -two, okay, but a 3-1, uh, it's going to be so difficult for Nikov to, to come back. Oh, okay. He's going to take this one. Okay. Entonces acabé de llegar y también para abajo justo directamente o qué? Vale, mejor. Le quiero luego enseñarte yo la casa. Ok, he's gonna take the board. Yo creo que anejera 4-1 rápido. Espero <laughs> 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 que no se hayan enterado. <laughs> Three villages on wood. I mean, it's too long already, the stream, you know? It's already over six hours for one series and three games in Cuban, you know? So, it's a really long series today. Okay, he, he got already the, the mill with the short fish, and now Trivelius is going to make the loom, as you can see, and he's going to go up. But that's the problem. He's going to go up 18 villages. He lost one, so not going to have a, a, a really great time. It's going to be the, exactly the same time. Okay. He's Cuban, dude. Eborro. Yes, Eborro. Where the, where's the prime? Oh, man, I'm going to ban you, man. I'm going to ban you. All those... Lazy that forget to click the prime. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. Te acuerdas cuando no quieres cuando no quieres que te vieran en pantalla. Okay, let's see now with the mine with the mining camp. Okay, thank you, Borro. That's that's the way to go. Okay. Quieres que me quede los cascos, pues bueno, los speaker. Para que escuches tú también. Okay. Oh my god, it's Steph with the five subscriptions gift. My goodness. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we have eight villages. They are both up, but not at the same time. Look at Hera. Going up faster. Okay. Guest. 
he made he made a comment. He made a comment. Did he make the comment? Jimmy oh, Raynor made a comment. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Way to go, Jimmy. Okay, five villiers taking the swordfish. Now he's gonna make the barrack. No hablen mucho, porque si hablan mucho van a notar quién habla de verdaderamente un buen inglés. ¿Sabes lo que te digo? No me, no me mola un pelo. Y no me mola un pelo. Anyway, guys, I just said, guys, that I don't want that he speak a lot, because if he speak a lot, yeah. you're gonna notice who really speak a good English. So, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Open Pants. Open Pants. What a nickname. He's doing the stable now. He's being faster. He has to be careful. He's still as well. Both with the scout. Let's see what he's going to do. Obviously, Hera is with the small advantage, but not with this scout war. Ay, ay, ay. Both lost it. Both lost it. Now the stable is going to be up. And he's walling it. He's walling all the map, Hera. It's the first time that he's walling a lot. But he's walling a lot because he wants to focus all in this side. You know, he don't want to get raided by that one, and then he can focus here. Nobody did yet a tower, as you can see. In this map, usually you see a tower pretty quick, but they're just wall. Since they didn't make many times, that's why they didn't make the tower, okay? Cal Jaeger 2K, if you compare me to Che Guevara again, we're going to freaking ban you. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> five, look like Che Guevara. Five villains, five villains on wood, okay. And one, two, three farmers. Let's be careful with this one. Double is stable. Well, double is stable is pretty sick, but Hera just noticed. This is really good that he spoiled this one. Okay. And. Okay. And the hands 20% faster speed. So this can really be a big problem. Also, look how his Hera getting housed all the time. He's housed all the time. He's doing the house now with only one Valir, and now he's housed on the TC. Look at the idle time and not producing army because of not having houses. Okay, has to be careful and three scout and the spear is gonna chase here. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's still more army. Okay, I'm gonna go for the palisade. One, two farmers, double the stable. He's walling all. I think this is good for Nikov. I think this is really good for Nikov, okay? You see, Moti, this is a good mod, man. Here in my house, not like you. Ah, I love you, I am the best mod. <laughs> okay, being said that, look at those. Now it's gonna make it Palisade Gate. Army, military and army is almost the same. And uh, well, he's going full feudal. Not not like that, okay. Finally in the house. Well, finally suck. Now that nobody listen. <laughs> Anyway, focus in the game, guys. Focus in the games. If we can, because it's difficult. A donation? A bullet beaconist! Pikeness donated 10 It euros. misses only me for the three Amazing. of us are 200 years old in total. Me for the three of us are 200 years old in total. Pike <laughs> 300 years in total. Such a, such a troller. Anyway, look at those scouts, spears, and... We have five scouts. Okay. Five scouts, two spear, and... He's gonna go for the goal. Nikov is starting to have more. He has... Well, he did will borrow that way the difference with the police, but 10 army, 9 army. This is very good for Hera. Because Hera has just only one stable. While two stables and then the army is almost the same. That doesn't make any sense. Now you have to be careful. Oh boy. The scouts are here. Hera need to come. You have to be careful. He has to be careful. But Nikov is doing a really good job. The scouts are now coming. But those scouts are going to be really weak HP. Thanks to the spears. Oh, this is not a good battle for Nikov. Definitely not. And this is much better for Hera. Why? Because Hera economy is just growing and growing. 18 on foot. Only 2 on gold. And look at the resources. And if he is still with similar army. And also will borrow. He's going to be able to go up castles faster. He's still sending his spears as you can see. Yes, and he only need to focus in this area. Now he need to go back, and it's still no upgrade for those scouts. But the resources for Hera are really good. Are really, really good. He's about to go up in a moment. I don't know if he's to make some spear. We'll see if he's gonna make it. Okay. And he's doing the blast bit. Yeah, need a little bit more. To go up. Nico has better score, but I'm not sure he's playing better right now. Well, he's playing good, but 
is not in the be in the in better position. He's gonna palisade this area. Okay, and seven scouts. Thank you for the what? My Another donation. Coitus Muffin. Coitus Muffin. Thank you, man. Ten euros. Amazing. Have a great weekend, Mambo. Thank you so much, guys. Today. He has to be careful. He's, he's gonna. Uh oh. No, no, no. It's Wally here. Yeah, the resources are floating, are getting there. They still have a lot of shortfish. He forced and made the tower. Well, he didn't make any tower. Have you noticed that Hera just control the economy, is not taking any risk, trying to go. Now the market, be careful with that spear. Oh my god, that spear is doing some damage, but not that much. Gonna delete now the palisade and go. But guys, he is going to go up to Castleage. Obviously, Nikov is not too far. Why? Because he has a lot of abilities on gold on food too. But the resources gathering is definitely not the way to go, as you can see. Okay. Yeah, he's up to Castellage. He's on the way to Castellage. He's on the way to Castellage, and that's gonna help a lot. That's really gonna help a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at those scout and spears. Yeah, he's... What? He sell everything. He sell everything to go up. Well, uh, Nikov has four villages more. The timing is not gonna be... It's just only 30 seconds. And he's going now RT ranges? That surprised me. Hera will do RT range too. Okay. But remember that Tatar's got... Just tampering. Don't you feel, guys, that these games are m more about the economy? They are not really attacking at all they, they are not really attacking right guys the previous game was similar yeah they have the army but they are just defending with army but there's not really big battle they are not even micron at all just look at the kd it's, it's very very Ooh, and now the walls okay i think he will take it no 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 okay he can't wall both and the scouts are coming now with the bloodlines he need to go back mm, what is better in this cav arches approach guys both Plies Cavartis is pretty sick. Hans or Tatars? I mean, the longer the game goes, Tatars get better Cavartis at the end. They get the Thumbring for free and the heal advantage. But Hans are cheaper. Hans are cheaper. So, I'm, I'm not sure. I think I prefer Tatars for the long run. But in the early game, in middle castleage, this can be very, very dangerous. You can see husbandry fletching right now. Only seven on food is not good. I really think that Nikov has a much better economy thanks to use all the shortfish. Hera never used this, and that's really bad. He's doing the university, but not gonna make the ballistic. My goodness. My goodness. Thank you for the gift, Mr. Trozer. And, uh, well, let's see. Husbandry, ballistic is so important. He's gonna take this one. Yeah, I think he need to fight. And this is a good battle. Ballistic and Thumbrain. Well, Botkin is down here for, for Nikov. Okay. And the uh, university is gonna go and take this one. Has to be careful. Okay. Botkin arrow. <laughs> okay, he just killed himself. Okay, now guys, uh, let's focus. Best Look at the amount of cap arches. Now is when we we're gonna see some micro. Let's see the micro, but this is gonna be really good for Hera if he play properly. But he doesn't have the numbers yet. Thank you so much for the soup, but I need to focus here. Why I say that is better for Hera? Because if you notice, he has already ballistic and thumbprint. He does have ballistic yet. So if he go and attack, it's gonna. Well, that was a good. Man, he's, uh, he's microing really well, Nikov. According to the situation, what the hell? Yeah, but no armor. No armor for Hera. 
Yeah, but it's still ballistic and now Thumbrin is really, really good. I don't know if he should go. Yeah, look at the army, guys. Nah. Nikov has no army, five army, 11 army. He's just focusing on this. And with sick micro from the Canadian. Look at this, Mr. Kuban. How Hera is just microing absolutely everything. And look at this one. He has to be careful. And look at this. GG. GG, man. Qué bien se ve el monitor este. Es de lujo, eh? Hera learned Archer uh, Micro from Leary. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> guys, the, the thing is, has been one battle. One battle. The, this is what I'm not enjoying. Is what I'm not enjoying tonight, guys. One battle, and that's it. Like, he got two villains more. He had no army, but, I mean, when you're in this kind of situation, try to make a siege workshop. The problem is that Tatars here just dominate a lot. The Thambrin is insane, guys. I told you, but, well, you don't trust me, man. You don't trust me. And, well, it wasn't great. It wasn't great at all. Anyway, let's check here now with the statistics. Military. And you can see 1.40, 0 0.69. Yeah, it was, it was going to dominate here. And social, yeah. GG, guys. Let's go for the next game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be in game number five. And what is the civilizations? My goodness. Well, this is going to be a fun game, Mr. Kuban. Ladies and gentlemen, because Bohemians and Aztecs, we know that it's not going to be something standard. We are not going to see scouts. We are going to see probably full monks and, and, and eagles. And maybe Nikov is going to go even, I don't know, full monks, chemistry. This is going to be a clone fest. And that can be crazy, you know can be really crazy obviously in the start well in the start we can chill and and put the overlays again it's bohemians that is gonna be here and aztecs overlay and you should have it there already and you can see guys the overlay pretty sick you know kuban is just checking guys all the behind the scenes now because now you you know how i put all these things that he couldn't know till now and uh there's a lot of stuff huh there is a lot of stuff. This is like a freaking uh, television studio. <laughs> there is a lot of stuff, guys, that we are getting. But you can see Bohemians and Aztecs there. That is, well, it's going to be a, I don't know what they are going to do. Hopefully they are going to go crazy. And uh, what is the favorite here, guys? What do you prefer? Bohemians or Aztecs, guys? You know? Bohemians, Nikov, I mean, they have a crazy economy. I will say that better economy than Aztecs for sure. But I don't know. It's still the Aztecs? Bohemians for sure? Well, I wouldn't believe that you will guys say that Bohemians is better than Aztecs. Aztecs has been the best arena civilization ever. You know? But let's see now. I think it's the first time that I remember that I have seen this match up in a tournament. Do you remember, guys, any Bohemians versus the Aztecs? I mean, we can talk about all this because, as you know, four villages on wood, then everything on foot, pushing the deers, and it's the same. Well, here, three villages only for Hera, but you can take it the overlay as well. So, arena with cannons, nice. That's a bo yeah. Does Kuban speak Italian? I don't think so that he speak Italian. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that if he speak Italian? For the accent? No, he's just from Cuba originally, you know, but then he's living in the United States the whole life, pretty much. No, pretty much. Okay, and now we're going to bring the going to bring the boar. Okay, and uh, let's see what they're going to do. Hopefully they will go crazy aggressive. But in these kind of situations, well, I don't know. Let's see who's going to play better. Nikov, Hera. Who do you want to win now, Mr. Kuban? I want Hera to win. <laughs> <laughs> we, he want Hera to win because we went to dinner. My wife was pushing me there. Uh, uh, what time is it? Uh, well, maybe it's the last game now. <laughs> okay, let's see now if we're, if we're gonna take the the boar. It's four villages on berries, and well, three villages on wood only. I'm surprised about that. Well, it's true that he should want to go up as quick as possible i just hope that it's gonna go extremely aggressive remember that if hera is winning it's already tournament thank you so much guys for the sub 
He's gonna push now the deer, farmer, and... Deer under the deer singing. Well, remember that Bohemians will get a crazy economy. If you go monks, you're gonna make fervor, and fervor is gonna affect the villages. So... I don't know, man. I, I don't know if Aztecs is better, honestly. But if you go 1TC full monks and eagles, how do you stop the eagles and monks? Because you, you will have to do what? Uh, hand cannoneers? I don't think that you can uh, do hand cannoneers in time, or, or how do you stop that with only monks? I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's gonna make a castle drop. Nikov at home with the Husit wagon. I, I mean, I have no idea. What is going to be the approach with those two players? Remember that... Well... They don't play arena, so... Let's see. But they are pros, they are expert overall. So they know to adapt to pretty much anything. And Hera has ticks, okay. Hera will try to clone on Titanic, do you think, Bundy? Okay. I don't think so. I'm sure that Hera has been even practicing this stuff. Yeah, I mean, if they maybe don't admit it, I'm sure that they have done. Okay. Four villages on berries. We have now eight villages on wood here. Okay. It's only one village on gold. Well, you have 150 gold. For now, it's going up super quick. 24 population, 26 for Nikov. Let me see the exploration. Yeah, he has explored already almost all the relics, and the eagle is also going to be there. The problem is that when he's up, that the eagle is going to be behind. Now he's, he has the advantage, but not soon. Not soon. Okay. Well, look at the economy for Hera. The Canadian! You mind that now Hera is booming. What a disappointment, you know? If he's going to boom now, it's going to be pff, disaster. Nah, I just hope that we're going to see some crazy aggression. Well, for now we see Nikov, Barak. He's gonna go standard scouts. Or he's gonna go archery range. I mean, he's doing the Barak. And Hera is just doing market and blast with, expected. No Barak at all. So let's see what, what is Nikov going to do. The Aztecs is clear, it's gonna go up, and then he will have to send a lot more views on goal if we expect to see some, some clown strategy. Okay. I'm just thinking, what, what is he planning? But... Stable and Plasmith? He's gonna go scout, really, with the Bohemians? Koba! What is this? Titanic! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he's going to scouts, I mean, that's not a problem for, for, for the Aztecs, I believe. You know? Titanic, man, he, he said it, man. He said it, so it's what it is, man. Okay, five villains on goal. Double with tax. I don't see yet a single bar rack. Obviously, if Hera is just gonna go monks only, because now this is a this is a debated. Maybe he's thinking that he's gonna go monks versus monks, and then he's going to scouts and take everything. <laughs> well, nah, he's doing the barrack. I like it. I like it. I don't know. Let's see. I think this is better for Hera, but uh, well, I don't know. For me, it's harder to analyze this, but he has the timing. He has the momentum as well. He's gonna be 50 seconds ahead. That means that with the monasteries, he's gonna be with the monks ahead too. But he's doing stables. Uh, sorry, scouts. Okay. Horse collar. No horse collar for Hera. And probably he's not gonna make it. He need the wood. But he did gold mining hybrid already. He know that he need that. A Bohemian has for free three villages on gold. Okay. And. Okay. Let's see. Only one Barak and doing now eagles. I mean. Eagles? No, but Eagle Warriors and Monks? Oh boy. That should be a stronger. Well, the Eagles are 7 attack now. The Scout 5, so the Eagles are stronger as well. Oh, he cancelled. He's doing now the Gold Mighty upgrade. Okay. Guys, I want to know opinion in the stream. Who has the advantage here, guys? Who has the advantage? 
with this build order. Hera or Nikovs is going to stand that with the scouts. University! What is he planning to do? He's gonna go fortified walls? What? 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 Because chemistry, I don't see it with a stable. Yeah, but if he's doing chemistry, you don't need an RG range. So, I mean, I don't know. What the hell? Aye, aye, aye. And you don't have resources. Chemistry is 300 foot, 200 gold. Look at the resources. I think he's got... If he's doing fortified walls, I go dinner with Kuban, guys. <laughs> if he's doing fortified walls, we give up. My goodness. Aye, aye, aye. Has to be careful. No, no, he's, he's, he's gonna, he's done, he's gonna make chemistry. So we stay, <laughs> we stay, or not? No, no, it's chemistry. But he's doing now the RT ranges. He's gonna go chemistry. So the scout is activated, but he's doing monks. He has no monks, and having monks with the Aztecs monks that are gonna have a lot of HP. You can't convert the the the, the hand cannon ears, you know? Yeah. I think I think this is not a good strategy. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Chemistry is gonna be on the way in a moment. Yeah, it's on the way, the chemistry. Between the eagles, but imagine if Hera is just getting all the relics. If Hera is getting all the relics, it's gonna be pretty sick. Squires are needed. Eagle Warrior is needed too. Squires is, is doing so. The Menstrodamus is on point, as you can see. But as soon as he see those, I wouldn't be surprised that Hera switch into RT range. Okay, he has to be careful. Yeah, I mean, the relics is so important and all their RT range. This this strategy is... Oh man, Siege War Shop. But there is a Jower, Mr. Kuban. And that Jower is searching for the blood. Let's see if he's gonna be able, he has no loom. He's gonna try to block with the palisade. He's gonna try to go to the tree and, and walls. But, oh my God, this is disaster. No, it's good. It's good. Good, a nice quick wall, nice. But Siege Workshop at the same time. Aye, aye, aye. Well, he's trying to go aggressive, Hera. And if Hera doing please, we need to see a Siege Tower, man. Well, palisade, let's see the monks. Two relics is going to convert or not? He's going to convert or not? Those monks are very strong. He's converting the scout. Aye, aye, aye. He's getting all the advantage. All the time in advantage. And now hand cannoneers are coming. Economy is very good, but 1,000 gold already there. Well, you can make all the average with the monks. And those monks will never die. 50 HP already. So even if you get hand cannoneers, if you get several monks, it's going to be domination. I don't know. Now Siege Workshop as well. He's doing crossbows too. He's trying to make... Well... Hand cannoneers, crossbows, but he has no fletching. Aye, aye, aye. Well, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be fun. Maybe it's gonna work, but... Aztecs? Imperial, man. He's gonna go up to Imperial. Hera is about to click up to Imp, but Imp him to death? No, no, no. He need to do army, I believe. He has more monks. Nah, he's not going in. He's going all in. Redemption, Ram, Mangonel. I like it. But this is going to be really important. Let's focus now and see. He cannot see this. And Rams are coming. He's going to try to attack here. Oh, man. If he's getting on Hera's base, he's going to be sick. All right. He's doing a Ram. Now the scouts are bye-bye. Monk down and he's three relics. Yet, Hera doesn't know about the hand cannoneers, I believe. Yeah. He doesn't know, but he needs to stay. I mean, he can't go. He can't go to attack. He needs to kill those. And hand cannoneers are out of the range yet. He still have only a few monks, uh, Kuban. Ladies and gentlemen, people in the stream, only three monks is not an oath. Aye, aye, aye. This is going to be a really big surprise. Siege Tower, my goodness. This is going to be epic. But, 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 here I can see it. Here I can see it. La, la, la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. My goodness.
this. He got the spoiler that now he's going to be able to wall. He will have to wall here, probably, the house. Yes, the Aegis are coming. Be careful there. This strategy is not going to work anymore. This strategy is not going to work anymore. Look at the Aegis and this might be the game for the Canadian. The Siege Tower in the hell and the Hand Cannoneers are going to dominate. Well, they will kill. But this is so expensive. He's converting one. He's coming with the Mangonel. Let's see if he's going to make and do the job. Imperial! It's up to Imperial! Hera is on the way to Imperial. He's now doing the walls. And obviously the Hand Cannoneers are doing the job against the Eagles. But now he just needs to stay home. He has four relics. He doesn't need to go forward. And Hera only need to do monks. If he's doing monks now and doing all the upgrades, he's going to convert everything. He's going to convert everything. He's doing monks at home. He doesn't need eagles at all. He doesn't need eagles. He just needs monks and then we'll convert all the hand cannoneers because in two minutes he will have he will have block printing. Now he will make a castle to defend. He has almost the stone to make the castle. And this is a pure clown strategy by Hera, but might be working. Is this a hole? I think this is a hole. I don't see it. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a tree. You see? Yes. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Now a monastery. But he's doing a castle. Man, Hera never die. He just don't die, man. When he make the castle and have the monks, he's doing the walls. He need to make the castle 30%. He's coming with a ram. Well, he need the castle. They need the castle. Need the castle. But he has now three monks, four monks more in the queue. The problem is that castle is not going to defend the relics. Ay, ay, ay. Defeat relic. A la mierda. You see? <laughs> A la mierda. Well, castle is... Oh, my God. He's going, he's going away. He's going this area. Well, he only need a tower here. Nah, just the monks. Guys, who is winning the game? Well, when he's doing all the upgrades, he's gonna convert all the hand cannoneers. Well, not all. He's bringing the relics here. I like it. Yeah, this is so, so, so close. Coming with the rams. It's coming the relics. And how many monks he got? He's doing the upgrades. Block printing, doing more walls. He's taking the relics. Four relics. Okay. And... Where's the upgrades, man? He's inside. Hera is not winning then. What the hell? They don't want they don't want that that we that we dinner! We want to dinner! Unbelievable! There's a scout, a lot of hand cannons, but the Eagles are there. Let's see now the conversions. He needs to convert the scout? No. He doesn't need to convert the scout, but the hand cannoneers. If he converts half of those hand cannoneers, it's gonna be bad really bad block printing now he is gonna make a tc or what i don't know this is full clown for both players but how many monks eight monks he didn't make the average i can't believe that Hera is gonna lose this game is he losing this game against this unbelievable i thought that we could eat the dinner kuban but Hera is losing or not because he never give up he's a try hard he has now the monks but need to be careful he does have the te theocracy he can't convert the guy okay convert two hand cannoneers man the monks are still very strong yeah he's doing more monks he has to be careful those villages are now out of position he has no villages on wood but he only need to convert he has to be careful with this scout he's gonna take it or not well if he convert those he will still able to win i don't know look at the resources by by, by nikov yeah, the castle is not defending. It's crazy. He probably was confident that he could do the job, but with the 12 range, look at the range, guys. The range of those monks is just is just crazy. It's really crazy. And now he needs to go and use those. Still, economy for Hera is disaster. Nikov has now a great economy. And to lose this game, Nikov, I mean he he can't lose this game. He shouldn't lose this game anymore. The Eagles will take the Rams. Yeah, he has no resources to make. To make a market. Okay. He's converting many hand cannoneers. Well, he's trying. He does have all the upgrades, guys. Does have all the upgrades. He's trying to go, but... Well, nine Eagles, eight Monks. Doing more Monks. Still have gold. It's the only resources he has. But... He's really believe that... Yeah. The game is over, guys. It's gonna be a 3-2. He's gonna be 3-2. I thought he was going to win this one, but 
When he break here, he's not stopping this. Okay, he's gonna take the rams. Okay, well, look at the army, man. It's incredible. I mean, seriously? He's gonna go up to Imperial finally, but now he has a trebuchet. Man, and he's coming. This is crazy, man. He's, he's gonna be... What, what the hell? Well, these guys never give up, as you can see. Population is not that, that bad. And now, he's on the way to Imperial, but there's a castle. If you take that castle... Oh, man. He need to make the upgrades with the monks. He does have all the upgrades. He does have that upgrade that if one monk... Yeah, if the groups are just converting, I don't think he has. He's gonna take it. Yeah, the Eagles are coming. If he kill those... Oh, my God, Nikov. Oh, my God, Nikov. Oh, my God, Nikov. Don't lose this. Man. Well... Yeah. 17 army, 13... Nikov is losing quite a lot, but still having the advantage. But resources now for Nikov? One foot. That's his resources, guys. One foot. So with the trap, he can kill that castle. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Nikov economy, amazing economy! <laughs> Look at the economy for Nikov, too. He has no economy. Well, 61 villains, but obviously not a great economy. And now he's going to take the castle? I believe he will. Well, he's doing a market. He rewall it. So now he's not raiding. If he lose that castle, it's terrible, actually. He can do Bombard Cannon, but he has no wood, actually. And this is the upgrade he needed. This was the upgrade that is huge. Theocracy. Still doing more monks, but how many monasteries he has? Two monasteries only? That's, that's total crap. That's total crap. Oh, my God. Well... He bought it wood, he bought it food, he's trying to keep going, he's doing now more villains as well. He delete those and he's gonna take another relic. Five relics with the Aztecs is insane. This is pure clone game, as we expected. And now the score is still 2,000. Score behind. He's in Imperial, and now what? Heresy! Oh man, Heresy is cheating, the Kuban. He's cheating, Heresy. He's now doing the Eagles, okay? But Heresy is cheating, man. Like, seriously. He's cheating, my goodness. Well, he used a thousand gold. He's now unable to, to convert anything, but the castle is gonna be down. Well, with those monks, you can kill now the hand cannoneers, but you cannot convert them, and that's really bad. Obviously, illumination gonna make those monks almost impossible to kill 70 HP. But the castle is there. It's gonna take the run. No, look at the bomber cannon. And now heresy is already there. He's gonna convert the bomber cannon. Well, he can. Obviously he can, but he's gonna notice that he has heresy. All right, all right, the castle is gonna go down. The Eagles are now upgraded. Still 36 villages, 61 uh, down, doing no fervor. And let's see, the hand cannoneers are coming. He need to convert, but now it's so difficult. It's really, really difficult. Yeah, well, they are killing the units, but now he noticed that heresy is there. It's impossible. Now, it will be impossible. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Obviously, you, you lose the, those. The Aegis has upgrades. Not at all. And now the hand cannoneers will take everything or not. Yeah. Take uh, GG. GG. My goodness. This clown strategy didn't work for Hera and the Nikov with hand cannoneers. Crazy that he got inside and got the game. Unbelievable, man. Really, really unbelievable. Well, heresy is GG here because 36 villains is just, it's just disaster. You know, it's really, really disaster. Okay, let's check the, the statistics. If I notice where it is. Yeah. And now we got to have what? Let me just check. Like a pure clown game. Nikov has killed 106 units, 21 losses. 0 0.20. Crazy. 0 0.20. 28 conversions, not enough. Economy, 5,000 more resources, disaster. And social, 66 45. Game number six, guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, game number six. And we have Ethiopians versus Magyars. Magyars usually. A very strong civilization in this map because you cannot wall in these areas as you can see but if you don't make early damage Ethiopians might be very dangerous here you know and then 
if there is a potential game number seven, I think Hera will have a better civilization with Franks for sure. But let's see what it's going to be. As a blue Hera in the south, this is the what happened in this map. You cannot wall anything here, you know? Yeah, but the late game in these maps are not are not what happened usually, you know? We have the berries at the back, look at the goal on the right, stone at the back, and the red, goal on the right, berries at the back, two boars, and the... Uh, well, already pushing the DS, but for now, since they are going with the economy, we are going to check the civilizations, because I know that you love those. Ethiopians, there's too many. I, I, pff, there's too many in Cuban. <laughs> I don't find them, my goodness. And the overlay... Oh, the overlay is not there. Maybe I didn't click it. Okay, let me just click it. It's not working. Why it's not working? No idea. But I will have to refresh here. And then now it should work. There you go. It's working the civilization. Ethiopians and Magyars. And well, in theory, Magyars are better. But the mobility, the scout it gives here with the forging is just amazing. Is Hera going to go militias? He's going to go directly arches? I mean, he can walk himself. I think Hera will just play his standard... Uh, gameplay safe and uh, we'll try to go from there you know trying to go with more economy actually or three bills on wood maybe it's gonna go scouts I wouldn't be surprised you can get 100 extra food and gold so maybe it's gonna go scouts and go full feudal why not well my hearts are cheaper scouts obviously better they don't have bloodlines that's the problem I mean he should go archers, man. He should go archers. I mean, he's having a weird uh, build order. But let's see. You know, let's see. Yeah, I prefer Ethiopians too. If he's not really getting punished by early aggression by Nikov, then for sure. Nikov is going with three villages on wood, so he should be a scout. Don't kill it, man. With the TC. Oh my goodness. Okay, pushing the deer. But seems that Hera is a little bit faster with the mill. That's not a big deal. And the boar, he can see it or not? Yeah, well, he's pushing the DS. He pushed already all the economy, man. Oh my god. He's gonna go up super quick. Really, really quick. But red is gonna go up 18 population? What the hell? Hera too? Mm, no, because he didn't take the boar. He's doing another villier. And he's doing the loom now. We'll have the food to go up, probably. Three on wood. One on the berries. He's gonna now drop the food. And... And... That's it. Oh my god, what a transition to the next age. Super smooth, really quick. And that's very dangerous. 18 population, guys. 18 population going even without finding the ship. Oh, man. This is super intense. This is going to be definitely a very nice game. Very aggressive by Nico. But that's the problem if you don't make damage in the start. If you don't make damage in the early game, then Ethiopians going to have a big boost here. It's going to go up now. Yes. With 20 population. It's very fast, too. But 18 is insane. Seriously. Seriously insane. Only one Lambert camp here with seven villages doing the bar. Right? He's gonna go for the goal. So he's gonna go archers. Yeah, but he will have now 100 extra food and gold. So let's see. He's gonna palisade this area or not. What? He's doing the house here. What the hell? Why he's doing another? Just when he's gonna make the mining camp? He's gonna have a house and mining camp probably together. Yeah, well, this is not Arabia with harder to wall because it's a lot more flat as well, you know? So, yeah, it's harder to wall, but yeah. Uh oh, the ships? He's gonna get it? No. And he's doing militias. He's doing militias, but the scout is taking the ships. Aye, aye, aye. His teammate, man! It's, it's, it's from AM. Why, why, I mean, man, laming each other. They, 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 I mean, this is how you do. You see, guys, Jordan and Tato before, eh, 
I give you the resources. They lame everything. This is what you have to do, man. Competition, man. Competition. Yeah. It is what it is, man. Three militias. And now he's coming. He's gonna make a fourth. I think. Well, now Menatarm. And double B dice. This is the beauty from Ethiopians, man. Yeah. Well, the scouts are just... Look at the difference, Kuban. He went up super quick, but now he has only one scout outside. Now the second. Well, Hera is going slower, but he has to have the mana times already there with three. And here at home, he's just walling, being safe. He's going to make a spear? I don't know. Two bullets on goal, doing the archer range. The mana times are just coming. And if he's doing the damage... Oh, boy. Let's see. He has this. Yeah, he needs to go to the berries, guys. Ah, I like this a lot. He's going with the scout to the left. No, but don't come here. Just go away. Don't bring the scout. I think this is a mistake. Yeah, because he's gonna sow the, the men at arms and now he's gonna wall or gonna move. No, he's moving the villiers. Okay. Yeah, but the problem is that yeah, he's forcing him to make an archery range already. No, but he's close to the TC. Oh, this is bad. This is bad for Hera. He lost a lot of HP and those scouts are with forging. But scout is down. And now only two villiers on berries, doing a lot of farms, but economy? What about Hera? Economy for Hera doesn't have a greatest economy either. As the farmer is going with the archers. But the power spike already from uh, Machiars, it's kind of gone. It's really kind of gone. Why he's one village behind? Oh, Hera lost a villager, and I didn't notice where. It probably was the scouts. Yeah, he's here. Look at this. Dead body. All right. And now he's forcing him to make a tower on the wood. A tower on the wood is interesting, but in my opinion, a little bit too fast. The mana times are there now. Okay. And he's gonna try to kill it? No. He's gonna try to go for the skirms, but he can't. He needs to go away. Okay. He's trying to micro everything. He can't do the job. And those mana times are kinda wasted now. Well, skirms is on kill, but he's trying to chase. This is what he wants. And now he's doing the blasmith. Three scout, that's a problem. The scout are with forging. You have to be really careful. He's gonna lose another villager. Almost sure. Yes, he lost it. This is what it makes this scout be really, really dangerous. And this is already three villages behind. Three villages behind already, but fletching. Well, it's two. Here I also idle TC. What the hell? What's happening to the Canadian? Oh boy. Well, but he's sending the army. Archers are coming with the fletching, and he doesn't have the blood read yet. He got the skirmishes, yes, but Hera need to do damage or he's fuck. He's really fuck, as you can see. Scout the men at arms and oh oh. Well, so really two is down. The mobility with those scouts. Who is this? Who is this? Baton, you're still alive, man. How you doing, man? He has to be careful. Look at the fletching and. He need to attack the scams. The spear doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. He's trying to snipe. Yeah, he's trying to, to go sneaky mode with the archers. He has only one archer range. And what Hera is gonna keep trying is what he do usually. Oh no. He's going for the stable. I like it. He's gonna go archers and scouts. Now he's gonna come and he's gonna try to recover the disadvantage. He's behind the village, yes, but those archers now will do the damage. Will do the damage. And that one village that is going to be down. With Fletching, the archers just dominate. Got it. Now he's only 2 1. He's going away, but he's doing his tables. So he's going to go scouts. He's going full feudal. This kind of aggression Nikov is probably not expecting. He's going to skirmishes. And look at now the scout. Only three scouts. Only three scouts, but he's coming here. He has a spear, and he's gonna have a scout. So with those scouts, he's gonna counter the skirmishes. Thank you, Mr. Frozen. And have to be careful, man. Stop taking beers, Mr. Byron. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. The spear is wasted, but... Oh my god, he's losing the arches. I don't think he's doing good trades here, Mr. Her Mr. Hera. He has less army, and now... The scouts are coming, but these three scouts... No, no, no. But he didn't expect this. He did. A donation? Unbelievable. Trouser Banana donated 5 euros. Amazing. Buy your sexy Gusta damn beer. He has no drink. I, 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 Titanic. 
I don't know when when he when he sent message. I never know what throws a banana said. Like seriously, <laughs> my goodness, Titanic. Well, three scout, three archers. He's doing even forging right now, and you have to be careful. Two scouts, skirmishers. The economy is looking good for Hera. It's crazy because he has, well, now one volley behind Hera. Fifty idle, fifty seconds idle TC. That's crazy. But he's going now all feudal, all crazy. It seems so. And Nikov is doing another RT rings and market. He's really trying to go up. Well, I don't know if it's going to work, but the scouts are coming with Forging. He has only one spear. And that's not good. And he see the upgrade already. Look at the score difference. But Nikov doesn't have the resources to go up. Definitely not. He has been good food. He's coming now with those. Archers are there, but the skirmishers, you could kill it. I don't know. He's gonna make a skill bar the armor. Oh, what is that villain doing here? Well, die. This is what this villain is doing here. Just dying. All right, scout and archers together. Resources still looking very, very nice, very healthy for Hera. Even with this situation and doing a scout, it's crazy how he's farming all the time so strong but no horse collar that's bad and now the scouts are coming he's gonna kill everything guys he's gonna kill everything here right here yes with those scouts and archers he's gonna make a domination plus one taking the spear and now with this scout he's taking absolutely everything look at the score Hera is just doing an amazing attack taking absolutely everything and with that economy he's gonna go up he's killing absolutely all the villains what a game play by the canadian he's on the way to castle he's also fine Faster. This is crazy, but this is the tournament. Look at the score because the score is just insane. And he's now with 15 army, one army, he got everything. He killed it all. The scouts are just moving. And if he just catch up those migration to the tower here, but the scouts with the plus one, he can take everything. The archers stay in the goal. And now those scouts are going to do a lot of damage too. Just attack, man. What the? What the fuck? Bring it. Bring it tournament! Why he didn't attack? Ay ay ay. They don't want the dinner! They don't want the dinner! They won seven games, man! It's rig it! Rig it! Unbelievable! Anyway, he's gonna go with the scouts. <laughs> He sabotaged my dinner, man. What is this, man? What is this? But this is still open. He can see it or not. Well, resources is at the limit. He's not expecting him to be up that fast, but the arches are just coming. Those arches, well, he's gonna get, yeah, he has really good resources. And the problem is that Nikov has zero army. Zero army is coming. And if he take the gold miners, well, look at the score, guys. It's really, really hard. The scouts are there. Look at the archers taking the gold miners. He should go and kill the villages, I believe. He has no army, man. He has no army. The resources are really sick for Hera. It's crazy how he has that economy, man. Like, seriously. Horse Collar, okay. And Botkin Arrow. Scouts. Both castle it at the same time. Crossbow, Botkin Arrow. GG call! Nikov don't even try. And I dinner! I dinner! <laughs> Thank you. Look at Kuma. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Hera. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, <laughs> let me see everything, you know. <laughs> he was so quiet, guys. It's, it's a starving, you know, we're starving. <laughs> Military, 2013 economy. You can see her economy, I and mean, it's crazy, but he took the tournament with less villages, but that transition, that battle he did was amazing. Hopefully you have enjoyed that. Did you enjoy and you watch on YouTube? Thumb up, amigos, and stay tuned.